Mooch docking, guys. That's what we're talking about. Mooch camping, mooch docking, whatever. But you know what I mean. You know, when you take your 1980s piece of crap RV and you drive it up to the, the in-laws house and you plug it in and you just stay there using their power, their water, or maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you go over to the casino and, and you can plug in at some of them or, you know, you just generally are uh, mooching off of somebody else. Well, I'm here right next door to the fan build doing a little mooch camping little mooch docking of my own. Bubba Box Truck Corey! Second camp at Fan Build Fest 2019 and we are officially mooch camping. Let me show you around here guys. We've got a nice spot here. Lots of room for the dogs without stickers all over to be a problem on their feet. Nice view hills back there you know there's a lot of people mooch camping over here all over a mile each way around the van build there's uh, people that are just here camping on BLM land in the vicinity having a good time don't have that 75 bucks but they're here just to take in the ambience and you know you could too like this spot here this is you know just down the road just a short bike ride away and uh, perfectly fine camp in this BLM area. This is beyond their permit zone. How's your van build going? What about you, Har Har? What about you? Just chilling on the back porch, Dad, with my bucket of water. Oh, someone's jealous. Someone's jealous. So let's go on a little tour of the neighborhood right beside the van build. You know, I haven't decided uh, what I'm going to call it yet. Uh, you know, the neighborhood that is. I'm thinking, you know, of course, Moochville. That's the obvious one. But maybe, uh, maybe seven mile. You know, like eight mile in Detroit. But this, this is seven mile because we're just past the seven mile marker. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Hmm. Moochville, I guess. Gotta, gotta kind of stick with Moochville, I think. Let's go on that tour. Show you who's in the neighborhood. The corral, and then beyond, that's all between mile marker six and seven. And it's, uh, it's a pretty busy area. You know, much busier than beyond mile marker seven. And, you know, really, it's a mix of uh, paid and unpaid mooch dockers in there. You know, you see some wristbands and a lot you don't. And, uh, you know, it can be kind of hard to tell, but let's go for a ride. Let's find out. Everywhere you look, there's work going on. Drills going, plywood's getting cut over here. More and more work. It's a good cause, you know, it helps a lot of people. One of the coolest ones, I think, you know, school is not enough. You gotta put the top half of a VW bus up there. I don't know about the, the gas mileage, but it does look cool. Lots of just regular old classy RVs and vans too. Getting close. You can see the teepee tents now. Yeah. So, what do you think? You know, events right there. No wristband. The whole mooch docking thing. Am I, uh, am I right or am I wrong? This is your chance to tear me why not you know if i'm wrong let me know in the comments but uh you know i'm camped off site i'm not uh really partaking in any of the events so i uh i don't feel too bad but uh there they are and uh yeah, i'm just meeting up with some friends and having a good time i don't know am i right 
I think I think it's okay. I, I don't I don't think the mooch docking is a huge problem. Like if you're over there and you're partaking with the band and the music and you're doing all the stuff, then yeah, you definitely should pay. And it's worth it, I think. 75 bucks, it's a good party, lasts a long time, helps a lot of people. But uh, you let me know. Am I, uh, am I crazy? Should I be anywhere but here? Should I be 100 miles away, not one mile down the road? I don't know. I want you to tell me. The evidence is really anecdotal. It's hard to prove, but you know, as I ride around and I look and I observe, half the people in this area, I think, are paid people that just, you know, are camped outside of Main Street. You know, they don't want too much action. But then you got the other half, I think, that are just, uh, well, they're mooch docking like I am. No 75 bucks. They're just coming to the van bill to uh, see what they can do. Have a little fun. Enjoy themselves. I don't want to uh, intrude or anything, you know, like I, you know, I didn't pay the 75, so I, I'm more than a mile, I'm, you know, past the seven mile marker. So I'm not right on their uh, vent permitted area. I'm not over there checking out the, the music at night. You know, since I didn't pay, I don't want to be partaking in, in the event, so to speak. Uh, you know, I hang out there for a brief amount of time to uh, do some journalistic activities and visit a couple friends. And uh, I'm not really partaking in the event because I haven't paid and I just don't feel that would be right. There we are, guys. Mile marker seven in that awesome box truck. Sun is starting to set. We're gonna head into the main event, see what's going on. Gotta love the e-bike, 28 miles an hour. Cover that one mile, no problem. So why am I mooch docking, you ask? Well, there are a few reasons. For one, that box behind you there. Broken parts on the truck. Belt and a pulley cost me a hundred bucks. And well, for two, I kind of wanted to see how many other people were out here doing the same thing. And well, I guess for three, I'm living off a of disability income. I just drove 3,000 miles to get down to the Southwest. I only have a thousand a month. 75 bucks, 10% of my monthly income. Right after coming down, well, it's a tough time of the season. You know, being uh, the first event, bright and early, so to speak, you know, in November, not, not later into the year. You know, it, it's a big uh, cash outlay just to get here. So uh, money was a little tight, and I, I know there were some free tickets around, but I didn't want to do that. So I'm here, I'm just enjoying the ambiance enjoying the people, having a great time, right next door to the Van Build Fest. We may not have quite as big a campfire as they do at the main event over here in Moochville, but I tell ya, a campfire at sunset is just as beautiful here.